I'm Elaine and welcome back to my adventure. Today's video, I look a little different. I was gonna get all dolled up. I was gonna put makeup on and jewelry. And then I thought that kind of wouldn't be truthful because I wanna talk to you today about what a flare is, what an autoimmune disease flare is, what a chronic illness flare is. And for those who have autoimmune disease or chronic illness, you might know what a flare is and you know exactly what it feels like, but maybe if you are supporting someone with chronic illness or autoimmune disease, you don't quite understand when they say they're in a flare. And so I thought for today's video, I would tell you what that is. I know that for the last couple of videos, I've told you that I've been in a flare. I've taken you to the rheumatologist. I told you during my COVID antibody results that I've been in a flare and I use a coping mechanism and that would be travel. A flare is a flare up of your autoimmune disease, your chronic illness. It's your illness times 10. So we deal with illness daily, but a flare up is when you are dealing with every aspect of that, that illness or that disease. And what that can feel like or how that manifests in people, and this is for me personally, I'm a patient, I am not a medical professional, this is just what I have felt for the last 12 years that I've had autoimmune disease. But for me, it means um, increased pain, increased fatigue, mouth sores, it can be a flare up of psoriasis on my foot. It, can be dry eye, dry mouth, it can be a low grade fever. It looks like just a feeling of ickiness. So the feeling of like you have the flu and it's kind of difficult to get through sometimes. And the way that this is treated is we see our rheumatologist or we see our doctors and oftentimes they'll treat us with a steroid they'll treat myofascial pain, which you get with like fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, they'll treat that with trigger point injections. They sometimes will need to change your medication, like something you're on is not working. They'll have to treat your increased pain. That will sometimes look like pain management. It can look like um, taking a pain medicine. Also the things that can cause these flares are like physical or mental stress. It can be a change in the weather. A lot of times people with rheumatoid arthritis feel barometric pressure changes and oftentimes those affect our bodies. It can be a lack of sleep. It can be that you did too much one day and then it knocks you out and you flare up your disease. And these flares can last anywhere from a couple of days to a week to months. It has no predictability. There's no predicting how long it's going to last. There's no predicting of what it's going to feel like or how it's going to manifest itself. And it's really hard sometimes to muscle through these flares. It can really take a toll on your emotional health. And to be honest with you guys, I have sat in my rheumatologist's office in the last two weeks and, and cried. And it's because you feel so frustrated. You can feel so very trapped in your body and trapped in your circumstance because these flares sometimes feel like they're going to be forever. And I think that the main thing to remember if you're an autoimmune disease warrior, if you deal with these, is to remember that they're temporary. In my last 12 years, I have gone through flares. I have had to take leaves of absence from work. I remember those periods of time and they felt very dark and I've had to change medications. But then I remember and I look back and I remember that was just for a period of time. I I made it through. You know, I, I, I there's this quote and I'm not going to get it right, but it's like when you feel trapped or you feel like you're in the midst of the storm, just remember you've made it through 100% of your worst days. There is light at the end of the tunnel, there is hope. For me, currently, this flare is an increase of fatigue. It is extremely difficult to shower and get ready in the morning. An increase of pain for me right now, um, I get a lot of pain in my ribs, I get a lot of 
joint pain from my rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, I get a lot of mouth sores from, from RA, from lupus, from systemic sclerosis. And, you know, I get increased swelling in my hands. You can see my hands are pretty swollen. They get red. Um, it's hard to function. My fingers are curled from scleroderma. They get worse when I'm in these flares. And, um, you know, I have the, <laughs> there's no blush on. This is rosy red cheeks or, you know, lupus. It's just, it. it's just the period of time that I'm going through right now. And my coping mechanism for this is I try to find things that distract me. So I'm not sure what that looks like for other people, but for me, my coping mechanism will be, I like to watch YouTube. I like to watch things about travel. I like to talk to my friends. I text a lot of people. I stay connected through Facebook. Um, I have a good support group on Facebook that I found and, you know, you find other people who understand what it's like to be going through this. And I know that it's extremely painful and, you know, to find things that aren't as painful but can keep your mind off of things. you have other coping mechanisms, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you deal with a flare. How do you make it through? If you are somebody who is supporting a chronic illness warrior or an autoimmune disease warrior and they are in a flare or they tell you they're going through a flare, how's your best way to support them? Listen, be a friend, be a partner, be a spouse, whatever your role looks like in their life, be a parent. I think that sometimes it's just helpful to talk it out with people, to have people listen to us and not very much want to fix the situation because there isn't a lot that our support systems can do to fix it. But sometimes it's just, we want to talk. We just want someone to listen, to be empathetic. Unfortunately, a lot of our warriors lack that in their healthcare, so they need to find that in somebody else. And so if you are a person who wants to support somebody who's going through a flare, just an open ear, just listen. Giving advice and giving treatment options is not always helpful or it's not the best period of time when someone's going through a flare to offer that. So just be a supportive friend, a supportive family member and remind your warrior to take care of themselves. I think to remind warriors to take care of themselves is a big thing. Like sometimes we forget that we need to step back and take care of ourselves. A lot of us are trying to take care of other people. We have spouses and children and jobs and you know parents and you have all kinds of other people that you're trying to take care of and sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves during this time. So that's what a flare is. And if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment down below. And if you are a warrior, you've got this. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you. Um, my channel is an adventure and it sometimes will look fun and sometimes it'll be real like this and just give you what I'm going through. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for learning about autoimmune disease and thank you for learning how to support those in your life and until my next adventure go have yours